Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about organization settings. Fiscal year. Fiscal year or financial year option is to specify your org's fiscal year. Fiscal year is also known as account year, taxation year or budget year. Sometimes we also call it as financial year. If our organization follows the Gregorian calendar, then you should change the fiscal year if we want to change the starting month of the fiscal year or we want to change the basis of our fiscal year. This is done with the standard fiscal year itself. Make sure if our forecast period is set to quarterly, changing our fiscal year start month will delete existing forecast adjustments and quotas. Now before, that's why it is advised to run a data backup export because changing the fiscal year causes fiscal periods to shift. Now this change affects opportunities and forecast for our org wide changes. So before you are making any change in your fiscal year, it is highly advised and highly recommended to run a data backup export before you change the fiscal year. Now custom fiscal year. Sometimes standard fiscal year is not sufficient for our organization setting. Some companies break down their fiscal year quarters and weeks based on their financial planning requirement. And that's why in those situations, they can achieve the same by creating their own custom fiscal year. Salesforce provides templates for defining their own custom fiscal year. Now, if the fiscal year structure we need is not among the template, we can easily modify any template to suit our business needs. Now, these are the available templates for our custom fiscal year. For example, 445 represents four quarter per year and where each quarter first period will have four weeks, second period will have four weeks and the third period will have five weeks and so on and so forth. Now, enabling a custom fiscal year is also unchangeable. That means if we have enabled a custom fiscal year, then we cannot go back to standard fiscal year in our org. Suppose if you have enabled custom fiscal year, but you still want the standard fiscal year to work, that means the 12 months Gregorian calendar to work in your org, you can select the third option from the template, which is Gregorian calendar option. Now there are some points that you should consider before enabling fiscal year. After you enable it, you cannot disable the feature. Fiscal year definition are not automatically created, so you have to define a custom fiscal year for each year you are doing the business. Enabling or defining custom fiscal years impact your forecasts, reports and quotas. When we define the first custom fiscal year, all existing forecasts, forecast histories, forecast adjustments from the year's first period forward are deleted. But forecasts for periods before the first custom fiscal year are not deleted. Opportunity list views don't include a fiscal period column. If you create opportunity list view and if you have enabled custom fiscal year, then you will not get fiscal period column over there in that specific list view. When custom fiscal years are enabled, you cannot use fiscal month, fiscal quarter or fiscal year date function in your so-called queries. Now let's talk about data and file storage. Storage is divided mainly into two categories, data storage and file storage. Where file storage includes files, CRM content, documents tab, custom file field on knowledge articles and site.com assets. And data storage includes almost all the objects whether they are standard or custom. Now other than these, Salesforce also provides storage for big objects known as big object storage. Most editions get 1 million big object records per org. Now big object storage is calculated asynchronously. So new records that you have added over there will not reflect immediately. While big object record limits are not actively monitored, Salesforce reserves the right to enforce the limit if necessary. In all editions except personal edition, administrator can view storage usage on a user by user basis. Data storage and file storage are calculated asynchronously and your org storage usage isn't updated immediately. Individual users can view their own storage usage in their personal information section. Now this chart actually tells you the amount of data storage per org, the amount of data storage per user, 
द अमाउंट ऑफ फाइल स्टोरेज पर ऑर्ग एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ फाइल स्टोरेज पर यूजर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन विच टाइप ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स एडिशन यू आर हैविंग वेन एवर यू नीड मोर स्टोरेज यू कैन इंक्रीज योर स्टोरेज लिमिट और रिड्यूस योर स्टोरेज यूजेज सो टू इंक्रीजिंग योर स्टोरेज लिमिट यू कैन परचेज मोर स्टोरेज स्पेस और एड यूजर लाइसेंसेज ओवर देयर एंड टू रिड्यूस योर स्टोरेज यूजेज यू कैन डिलीट आउटडेटेड लीड्स और कॉन्टैक्ट रिमूव एनी अननेसेसरी अटैचमेंट एंड डिलीट फाइल्स इन सेल्स फॉर सी आर एम कंटेंट Now points to consider while planning for storage needs make sure that the person accounts count against both account and contact storage because each person account consists of one account and one contact all the archived activities count against your storage and active or archived products price books price book entries assets don't count against storage so it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically and guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you want to stay updated with proper salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon also if you have thoughts or question drop it in the comments i would love to hear from you and promise i will read every single one Thank you so much guys and now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of organization settings. Basically all the organization follows the Gregorian calendar which is the 12 month structure for a specific fiscal year. But in case if you want to change the starting month of your fiscal year or if you want to change the basis of your org fiscal year then you can go to your fiscal year and change that. For that come to the quick find type in fiscal click on fiscal year and you can see in your standard fiscal year you can decide the starting month of your fiscal year let's suppose april and also i want this month to be the starting month of the fiscal year so i'm selecting the starting month and clicking on save clicking on okay so that's how you can decide your your standard fiscal year the two changes that you can made in your standard fiscal year is deciding the start month of the fiscal year and on the basis of the starting month or ending month you can decide these two aspects over there but sometimes we might need to create a custom fiscal year as well now to create a custom fiscal year you have to click on this custom fiscal year option now once you enable a custom fiscal year you cannot get the standard fiscal year in your org so also make sure that you select this option only when you are sure that you don't want the standard fiscal year in your org but there is one more solution suppose i enabled it and i still want the standard fiscal year to work in my org then coming back to fiscal year refreshing it selecting fiscal year one more time so i am typing in the quick find as fiscal opening fiscal year so now in the fiscal year option you won't find anything to enable or disable so now the custom fiscal year is working over there here you can decide the names so the prefix for your quarter and the prefix for your period the name of your quarter and the name of your period whatsoever you want to do then you can create your own fiscal year by clicking on new and deciding what type of fiscal year your organization is following it can follow a 445 if you want to choose some other option you can certainly select that and in case if you don't want to choose any custom option and go with the standard one you can select this gregorian calendar option suppose i selected this first one as 445 and click on continue then it will tell me from which specific date i want to start this fiscal year and also it will allow me to choose the name for my fiscal year as well other than that i can go for some advanced customization in the advanced customization i can select in which period how many weeks are there and e the duration of each weeks is how much i can select the quarter the period the duration of the week and so on and so forth if i am comfortable with it i can click on save and that will be defined as my custom fiscal year now let's move on and talk about data and file storage for that in your quick find you can type in storage click on storage usage and you can find the limit of data storage file storage and big object storage in your org also how much you have used from that limit and that also shown in terms of percent the data storage usage is also shown with each type of object and the records that are available in that object 
and how much percentage you have used out of the total percentage available for you. From here you can also know about the file storage usage. For example, if you see there are two photos and one content body because you have already used two photos, you have taken all the 100% of storage available for your developer edition org. Now you might be knowing that the developer edition org is having very limited amount of storage. Definitely if you will work with other editions, specifically with enterprise edition, you will get more amount of storage over there. From this page, you can also know the storage usage according to your individual user, like how much storage has been used by a specific user. So whenever you need more storage, you can, you can increase your storage limit or reduce your storage usage. Now that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.